When we get an offer for an organ for one of our patients, we would assess whether or not it's a good match. Once we've accepted the organ, uh, we will go ahead and we'll prepare the patient for the transplant procedure. Well, usually because time is of the essence of heart transplantation, the patient is already in the operating room. Once we get word that the organ is good, our patient will be placed under anesthesia. We'll start the uh, opening the chest. Communication is critical. Dr. Bayona and I, we we're continuously talking to Dr. Marala to find out where in the recovery process he is so that we can time the uh, surgical procedure optimally and then that we're ready to go to explant the recipient's heart once the donor organ arrives. So the whole process from the time I get the phone call that there is an organ to the delivery of organ back in, at UT Southwestern was in this particular case close to 12 to 13 hours. Close to 80% of the times we are flying out of Dallas. Once we reach the hospital, we are in the OR. Often there are multiple teams involved and everybody agrees on the time to stop the heart. We express gratitude to the donor for the sublime sacrifice and the donation that he's offering, and we offer a moment of silence. And then we start the process. Once the heart is arrested and taken out, your clock is ticking off. So time is very crucial. The shorter the time, the better it is for the organ. So uh, once we double and triple check the blood type uh, and then we're sure that everything matches, we start to work on the recipient. The chest is open and we are ready on the hard lung machine. So the recipient is attached through cannulas and tubing to the hard lung machine. And actually the hard lung machine is sustaining the life of the recipient. And that allows us to work on the heart of the recipient. We start to do surgical maneuvers that we call dissection and basically those maneuvers are allowing us to take out eventually the heart from the recipient from out of the chest. Once that is done then we turn our attention to the donor uh, organs and then we inspect the, the uh, organ donor and we prepare it for the implant the surgical procedure itself and once it's prepared on the backside table in the OR, then we bring the organ to the, uh, into the chest of the recipient and then we start to suture through a very precise sequence of event the new donor organ into the recipient itself. Once we finish to do all the suturing or part of the suturing, we take out what we call the aortic clock clamp. Basically it's an instrument that stops the blood flow going into the new heart. And once we take that out for the first time, the blood from the recipient is actually mixing up with the organ donor. And that's when usually after like few seconds, the heart starts to beat. And that's probably the most important and most rewarding part of the operation itself. While it's exciting to see that first heartbeat again from the donor heart after we remove the cross clamp, Ultimately, the heart has to be able to support the blood flow to the body, and we can't really assess that until we are fully off the heart-lung machine. So once we achieve that, that's when we know the transplant has been successful. Once the patient has separated from the heart-lung machine, the real work begins. There's a lot of post-operative care that goes into the management of the patients after the transplant. Many people think that the transplant, the surgery itself, is the most critical portion, but the more important aspects are the extensive aftercare that's required by uh, just a number of our other team members to ensure a successful outcome. Because ultimately the goal is not to come out of the operating room with a beating heart. The goal is to have a uh, return to a normal life a few months down the road. We have our annual transplant reunion during Donor Awareness Month in April where we reconnect with our patients. It's always gratifying for the team to see our patients return to a normal life after they had been so ill for so long prior to receiving that amazing gift.